All right, Dr. Salas is going to talk a little bit more about early childhood. which has evolved a little bit. Uh, again, it was just a discussion. We first looked at our, where our tax levy currently is and where it would uh, possibly go to just at 30 cents and where it is in comparison to the other school districts. What we probably need to update here is the other school district uh, levies, which we'll, we'll do. Our tax levy history, uh, to share this with the city council at a recent meeting, just uh, the same night they were setting theirs. Uh, see what it's done since 1988. Uh, our discussions for funding uh, have evolved into lease purchase bond issue. We did have a brief discussion about Prop C, but uh, for the sake of discussions, we looked at what a 20 cent lease purchase would generate and what a bond issue generates. Uh, this again was 10 million each with the uh, supplement coming from Fund 4, capital project dollars as we've done uh, in previous construction projects. The operational levy options discussed go from 15 to 50 cents and what that money generates for operational purposes with the new staff members uh, uh, for both scenarios, primarily for the pre-K and teacher aides. Uh, what the impact is at those levels, uh, 30 to 65 cents for both residential and commercial, using numbers from the assessor's office for the average value. And then looking at a three-year phase-in uh, of those numbers um, for both residential and commercial, and we use the 65 cent, which is the uh, three-year period. On our district webpage, this is a screenshot of our homepage, and encircled in the lower right corner is the survey that still is in operation, with the uh, short uh, video as a. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we had 434 responses, and 60% of those believe that renovation or scenario two is the mo most feasible for us. We stand standing facility, which was scenario one, about 20%. You can see the others. Uh, 20% been both. Yeah. Let <laughs> yeah. me check well, both. Yeah. I went, and the other one. question uh, that I asked uh, Mr. Besigard relative to this is that number what you would expect for a district our size? terms of responses at this point. He said, you're right, right on, uh, because it's a single issue question, you know, about early childhood. So it is, uh, it's gonna grow a little bit more. I plan to push out another reminder this weekend 
because we closed this thing at the end of September, if you recall. And he says you'll get a little bit bumped out of each time you do that. But primarily the people that are answering these are the ones that we're sending things to. And we've hit the business community and those that were involved in CSIP first, that represented about 25% of that number. And the rest of them after the uh, 4,000 or so texts and emails were sent out via Spirit Messenger. Again, just a reminder on the timeline for those that are watching uh, uh, where we're at, where the arrow denotes on the timeline. We're working through the uh, uh, information phase and seeking input from the community to try to narrow two options to one. Uh, and we look forward to 2017 all of this for a hopeful uh, early learning opportunity for our students. In April of 2015 is our target, and we've got several speaking engagements uh, lined up since uh, last week. So, continue to work through that. Any slide you'd like me to go back to, if you'd be happy to. But I encourage anybody watching to please hit the home page on our, our website, watch the video, take the survey, tell your friends, uh, tell your neighbors, mm -hmm. tell anybody that's interested in the progress. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you.